All right, November the 1st, we're still talking about the tropics, 2020. Tropical Storm Ada formed last night, 40 mile per hour sustained winds currently, so it hasn't strengthened really overnight. West movement still pretty fast at 15 miles per hour. That's what will be changing the most as it gets closer to Central America. It will be slowing down. The official forecast tracks keeps it south of Jamaica, at least the center of it, uh, becoming a hurricane as we go into tomorrow and then continuing to slow down as it moves towards Central America by late Tuesday and into Wednesday is what landfall looks like. Then the big question is how much does it slow down before it starts to turn back to the north? north because our models are showing kind of that northerly push and northerly trend to this thing as we go into Thursday and Friday, but still well to the south of the Gulf of Mexico. So for at least the next five days, no one in the Gulf of Mexico area has to really worry about this thing. Long term, though, we will be keeping an eye on this, especially Cuba and Florida, because you see our spaghetti plots, our tropical models all agree at going towards Central America. And then we do have some just dissipating it, but then others bring it back to the north, strengthening it. And notice as we go into next weekend, could be somewhere getting close to the southern Gulf of Mexico. So this one does warrant worth watching kind of long term. We don't have to worry about it in the near term, but here's why we're going to have to watch it in the long term. The ridge over the next couple of days will be centered over the Gulf. That will keep it down towards the south. It will keep it moving west, maybe even a little bit southwest. Then as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that ridge will start to break down towards the west and replacing that ridge will be a trough swinging down over the US. And what happens when you get a trough, a weakness? That tropical system is going to try to follow that weakness. So we'll try to get pulled back to the north by next weekend. So with no ridging over the Gulf of Mexico at this point, it would likely start to come back to the north. But then you start to introduce other things like we will probably have another cold front over the next week that would swing on down impact the track of this thing. So there's a lot of variables. There's a lot of moving parts at this point. And we can't really speculate what it would do if it got into the Gulf, but it is a potential that it gets into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico by next weekend. So we'll watch it for you. You don't have anything to worry about the next seven days. That is a great forecast. Election day is going to be great. The mornings on election day. It is going to be cold, so have the warm gear if you're going to be standing in lines early on in the day. Later on in the afternoon, it'll be nice staying nice through at least Friday.